Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, aspect ratios involving tires and how we read the uh, tire um, size with the symbol. So the P just stands for passengers. The 225 is the tire's width. It's how wide the tire is in millimeters. So it's wide in millimeters. You might want to write that down separately. I'm going to have to erase this in a minute. Okay, right after the slash, that's the aspect ratio um, as your width to height of the tire, which is right here. Okay, so it's just this piece right here, and it's really 70% of whatever the width is, and we generally change that to 0.7. Um, as a decimal in order to multiply. Okay, and then the last piece we have is the rim diameter. Now this is the rim diameter and it's in inches. Let's go ahead and lay with a small, lowercase d. The rim diameter and it is inches. Okay, so one of the biggest problems with the sizing is that it actually gives uh, millimeters in part of the uh, size and inches in the other. And if we need something like a total length of a diameter, you can't mix um, millimeters and inches together. We have to get it all one unit. So um, we are going to go with inches. We're going to convert it all to inches. And we're going to use uh, this conversion right here. You can Google it. 24.4 millimeters per one inch is the uh, going rate for uh, converting. So that's where that number is going to come from. It's the conversion from millimeters to inches. Okay, so what we will have to do here is clear this out so we can get some calculations in. Now that we know what all those numbers mean, how are we going to use them? So basically what I do is I start out with the width and I multiply it times the uh, percentage in decimals. So it's a 70 convert to decimal is a 0.7 in percent. So uh, and I multiply that out and I get 178.5 Remember, that's in millimeters. Now, in, in order to convert it, we're going to use our standard conversion. We're going to use this number every time, 25.4. And remember that that's millimeters per inch. Of course, whenever you flip this, the millimeters uh, cross out. This is in denominator, so when you flip it, uh, it becomes in the numerator, so millimeters cross out and you're left with inches as your answer. So that's basically all we're trying to do is convert that to um, inches. So, and that turns out to be about 7.03 inches. Okay? Now, the diameter, I'm trying to kind of keep everything on the board here, but the diameter over here actually comes as a formula. It's really this entire height, which is this small height plus the rim diameter plus the other small height. So it looks like this. The tire height times 2 plus the rim. And I'm going to put that right over here so you can see what I'm doing. Again, don't forget that we have 7.3. 0, 0.03 here, and 7.03 here, and the R up here is, says it's 16, so it's 16 here, and we have to add all that up. So the diameter is equal to the height, which I just said was 7.03, times 2, because we have top and bottom, and add the rim height, which is a 16. Now, this could be a 16, 17, or 18. Just look at which number follows the R. 
and we are left with uh, a total of 30.06. Okay, so there's your diameter. Now the circumference also has a formula. It's C equals pi times D. Well, pi, we're going to go ahead and estimate that to be 3.14. And we're going to multiply that times the diameter, which we just figured out to be 30.06. And we should end up with 94.388, which rounds up to the nearest hundredth as 94.39. And that's all in inches. And so there you go for the circumference. Remember that the circumference is one full rotation of the... Um, uh, tire. Now, let's say that these were replacing an old pair of tires that were, let's say, 90 inch circumference. Now, let's say 90.5, just for the fun of it. So, what we would do is to find the ratio of the increased size of the tire, take the new and put it over the old and divide in the calculator. So the new is 94.39. The old is 90.5 inch. Go ahead and put that in the calculator divided by 90.5. And you get 1.42. Um, so that's about 1.4. 1.04. Okay? So there's your ratio of 1.04. You're going to be doing 1.04 times as much rotations for each rotation. So if the odometer reading in the calculator, remember the odometer. Um, is calculated to the factory tires, the 90.5 ones. When you change it, it um, changes by a factor of 1.04. So if the odometer reads 20,000 on the car, but you change the tires, your um, actual will be 1.05 times that. So we multiply that times uh, 1.04 and you get 20,800. So you actually, if the odometer reading says this, you actually have 20,800 miles that are actually on the car. Alright, so there you go. That pretty much covers um, a lot of aspect ratios uh, for the tires. I hope that helped and thanks for watching.